4, Chapman, Oakland, Street, Perth, Oakland, Street, 4, and I'm going to go to Street, all you can spawn in, colors, and by the way, there is a fire, and it's press all, it's going to be a two-story commercial structure, both planes and the boat are in the middle. I've got smoke still, and I'm going to go to work in five to five. Davis Maddox with Moncure Fire. Today we're going to be going over the location and use of a reef sleeve. If we'll come this way, we'll take a look at where we keep it in the truck. The reef sleeve will be located in the EMS compartment inside of the cab of Engine 8. It's in a large bag right here. It says Reeves EMS on the side of it. It's easy to tell what it is. The reef sleeve is a device used for packaging and transporting patients in a rescue situation. The reef sleeve does have multiple uses. It can be used soft-backed or you can slide a backboard inside of the reef sleeve to use it for hoisting and carrying a patient that needs spine support. To use it, you're going to undo the black strap that's around it and roll it out. it has a flexible plastic back on it and all the straps are pre-attached to it so you've got straps for your arms legs across the torso in addition to these large flaps that wrap around your patient on the outside of the torso flap you can see that it does in fact have instructions on how to use it in case you need those Also inside of the bag are head blocks to stabilize your patient's head and neck while being transported. There's going to velcro right there on the side of your patient's head. I'd like to have my patient come here and lay down in the reef sleeve. <laughs> Package them. You start by taking your flaps, pulling them firmly over your patient. They're just going to velcro down. You're going to go underneath his arms. Next, you'll start your leg, arm, and torso straps. You'll have two sets of straps here. The set of black straps are going to go under your patient's arms. These ones right here are the ones that go under. And your second set of straps for your torso are yellow. These are going to go over your patient's arms. So your patient's probably already going to be in a C-collar. And you can see we have our head blocks right here next to his head. They should be about the top of his shoulders as well. We've got two straps here. This one's going to go over the forehead to the D-rings that are down here attached to the reeve sleeve itself. Then we've got a second chin strap that's going to go over the patient's chin into another D-ring. Your patient's ready for transport now. You have a couple of options. You can lift on the corners 
If your patient does not need spinal immobilization, you don't have to put the backboard in. Uh, once we take them out of this, I'll show you the backboard pouch. You can also attach to one right here and you can drag your patient in the reef sleeve itself. The bottom of this plastic is very slick. So if you're just dragging for a short distance, maybe up a hill, you can use that attachment point and drag your patient. So, there is also a built-in pouch for a backboard inside of the reef sleeve. You're going to want to use that if you're going to be lifting your patient vertically or if your patient needs spinal mobilization. If you come down here to the feet of the reef sleeve, you can see that there are three buckles and then a Velcro flap. You're going to undo the buckles and the Velcro flap. Take your backboard, you're going to slide it in head first. Re secure your Velcro. Re secure your buckles. And now you're ready to lift vertically or if your patient needs spinal immobilization. You can see for vertical lifts, we do have anchor points on the reef sleeve. These are rated for lifting. You can simply come and attach your Yosemite rig to all four corners and you'll be able to vertically lift with any other rigging you may need to use. Alright, so to repack our reef sleeve, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our flaps, neatly fold them over on themselves into the middle of the board. Then we're going to take all of our straps, fold them back on themselves towards the inside of the board. There's an elastic strap that you're going to pull over there. For your long straps, you're going to roll them back outside. Again, an elastic strap at the bottom. You're going to pull it all the way over. Secure just like that. You do need to take your head blocks off. Good. Tighten up your chin and your forehead straps. Just like that. Now we're going to roll from the feet first towards the head. This does need to be pretty tight so it will fit back in the bag. rolled it up tight enough, our head blocks are going to slide down right next to the bag. There's three snap closures at the top. We're ready to put it back on the truck. This has been Reef Sleeve Operations. Use.